Hello everybody and welcome back to another Conunger video. Uh, I've been playing Protoss as usual and uh, I just did a uh, PvP and I used a slightly different strategy on this one that I figure I'll run y'all through. So I'm playing against Moneybags and I played against him once before uh, a couple days ago where I used my DT opener and uh, let's see here let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and go to Kanunger. so ah, chit chatting with them just a little bit while I'm starting okay nine pylon got out of the uh, 11 gateway 12 assimilator 15 forge and then a 17 pylon, 19 cybernetics core, put down a proton cannon at 19, started my stargate at 23, put down another pylon, let's slow this down just a little bit, and as soon as my stargate comes up we're going to crank out an oracle, put down a few more pylons, and the oracle I'm going to send up here to his base and use the uh, Pulsar Beam ability to kind of take out his mineral line a lot, little bit. So, got my uh, guys already up, and I expanded as I was putting down my, as my Oracle was attacking. I was expanding about as soon as you have your 30 probes at your main base, you go ahead and expand. I do those and then get out my nexus that guy's just sitting there for just a minute and we took out his mineral line but we gotta wait on some energy so we've got him sitting down and we're starting to warp out some void rays and put down a couple more um, stargates and warping out some more void rays now if this game goes into the macro stages, what we're looking at doing is getting um, about eight carriers later on in the game. Those will be uh, mid. I'll probably, once I transition into my third base, that's when I'll start building my carriers. But until then, it's mainly just void rays. And we're also going to crank out a few temps just as soon as that uh, fleet beacon goes down. Um, anywhere from five to six temps. Uh, eight carriers, uh, about 18 void rays, and I've only been using 60 probes, so I fully saturate two bases, and then as soon as the first one starts to die down, that's when I start building, start expanding to my third. Now, I'm just doing some slight harassing right now, um, keeping them locked on minerals and supplies. Let's see, I've already knocked out 43 of his units, so I I'm pushing a little hard on him knock out his cannon or his forge make it to where he can't drop as many uh, cannons down right now while I'm building up again and got the Temptus out so we're pressuring him some more taking out just keep harassing him while we're expanding to our third base get some more pylons out get up to uh, that 200 supply cap and well there we go I kept on attacking and he went ahead and ended the game. So, I mean, it's a fairly aggressive build. Um, depending on how your enemy is teching, uh, he teched mostly ground army and a lot of cannons after he saw that oracle, which was fine. I uh, I did take some losses, not much, but yeah. Um, nine pylon, ten assimilator, eleven gateway. 15 forge, 17 pylon, 19 cybernetic score, and throw down a proton, uh, photon cannon. 23, you want to lay down your stargate and your second assimilator. Um, as soon as the stargate finishes, that uh, will be about your 29 supply. You're going to pop out an oracle and send that up to harass the enemy's mineral line. Um, after that, you're going to crank out your last couple of probes for your main base and start to expand to your second throw down a few more pylons 
you're going to start working on your weapons research. You want to research air weapons one, and I also research shields level one um, as I'm building out my void rays. Then, like I said, I crank out some void rays, crank out some tempest. I only u ever use the one oracle. And then after I've got a few void rays and temptus, that's when I start building up my carriers. I usually build about eight, and then um, eight eight carriers, five or six temptus, eighteen void rays, and sixty probes. And that's pretty much a full supply cap. And just go in and annihilate. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Ciao.